Hi everybody, I'm Catherine from Egypt. I'm an Egyptologist and I'm, I would like to talk about the ancient Egyptian civilization through a different aspect. So everybody knows about all the Egyptian pyramids being used as ancient Egyptian tombs for the kings, royalties and so on. But the first guy who went inside was the archaeologist, the French archaeologist who went inside the pyramid for the first time recently and he said that there is something looks like a coffin, sarcophagus, it could have been used as a coffin, but not a definite fact. Then everybody took it from him as a fact. And then everybody believes that ancient Egyptian pyramids must have been used as tombs. But actually the fact is that we never found any subjects, any mummies, any objects, any treasures inside all the pyramids of Egypt that exceed a hundred pyramids. And most likely all the purpose of all the pyramids built in Egypt or even abroad is still very unknown. So we have been thinking, we have been digging deeply just to understand or to try to recognize why did the ancient people build any pyramids and we still have no answer. Not only in Egypt but also in different parts of the globe they found different pyramids for different purposes as we tell about our ancient Egyptian pyramids been used as royal tombs they have been telling different stories like this about those pyramids either in china either in latin america either in uh, central america either in different parts of asia even in australia and some parts deep in the ocean close to cuba so everybody tells that it's either used for ritual could have been used as temples or maybe for something else but as usual all the time we never found any treasures any mummies inside all the pyramids except once in china it was occupied by the modern chinese just to bury all the big army of an emperor or the emperor himself and this is the only time that the pyramid one of the pyramids of china was reused by the modern chinese otherwise nowhere else not at all not even a single discovery in all the pyramids all over the globe tells that we found any mummies any tombs any treasures inside any of the pyramids one other mystery about all the pyramids all over the globe why exactly ancient people they picked this form or this shape we have no idea because it's been everywhere it's been repeatedly picked specifically this pyramidal shape had any of those ancient people seen any kind of any form looking like this everywhere and accordingly they decided to copy the same shape form into a construction that's why it was spread all over the globe this could be a question but we don't have any answer for if all the pyramids they date back to different periods how they could copy the same shape because in places like Guatemala some other parts of Latin America they found pyramids look exactly the same like the step pyramid of Djoser or Zoser here in Egypt as known as the first founded pyramid in Egypt dates back to 2700 BC so what is the relationship between Egypt Saqqara the step pyramid of Djoser and those pyramids of Guatemala those pyramids of Mexico Latin America no idea the place where we found mummies, where we found treasures, real coffins, sarcophagi in Egypt, in ancient Egypt, was in the Valley of the Kings in Luxor. And this was used as a cemetery. It was used for burying all those royalties. Otherwise, nowhere else. If you have been to any of the tombs in the Valley of the Kings or the Valley of the Queens, you must have seen that there is not even a single inch without inscription on the walls. So why when you go inside almost all the pyramids, there is nothing written? Even the name of the king who should have been buried inside is not even written. Even in his burial chamber, even on, a, on his coffin. Besides, we don't have enough space for humans, for any human activities and rituals inside the pyramids. Because going inside the pyramid by yourself is already an achievement. And if anybody suffers from any kind of claustrophobia, if you're claustrophobic, you shouldn't at all go inside the pyramids because it's really tiny inside and it's quite a challenge to go inside by yourself. So we can't imagine that we had somebody else who must have carried tons of loads going all the way inside to put them somewhere as 
artifacts or treasures of the king or even his mummy doesn't make any sense we don't have enough space for humans normal humans to go inside do any kind of prayers for the king for his soul any rituals any offering any incense burning anything like that because there's no space so it was not for doing any kind of rituals those are just a few questions that we are trying to ask and we don't have answers for so this is just episode one please let us know in the comments below and wait for episode two about the permits thank you very much